The Prophet is praising Mut'im who died a pagan, kafir, mushrik. He's praising him in a manner that hardly any Muslim has ever gotten. Right? But he's not praising him religiously, he's praising him politically. And in this, wallahi, so much benefit. Not all non-Muslims are the same. You have non-Muslims, they might be kafir, but they have truth and justice when it comes to political rights, civic duties. They might not believe in the same God as you, but they believe in some type of justice. And this is mut'im, one of them. Right? And there's no problem in honoring them from a worldly sense. The Prophet didn't go pray his janazah. The Prophet didn't make dua for him. He drew a line. Look, religion is religion. But there's a civic honor given to him. There's a, a pride. There's a repaying back of the good that you've given me. And the only way I can repay back is to mention you in a way that until the day of judgment, there will be some respect and some looking up to you with sympathy, even if you're being punished for your beliefs. But there will be some looking up to for and some honor that the Prophet gave him. Look, I, just one word, I'll give all of these people back to, uh, to him. And indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet said in hadith in Bukhari, Allah can help his religion through a kafir. Inna Allah la yudahad al-deena bi rajul al-fasiq wa bi rajul al-kafir, bi rajul al-fajr. All of these jawaits are there. That Allah helps this religion through people who are evil. Mut'im might have been evil in his religion, but in his other affairs, he was a good man. And he wanted truth, and he wanted... The, the, the tribalism that he believed in was a good type of tribalism. Therefore, brothers and sisters, the fact of the matter is, we need to form relationships with the mut'ims of our times. We need to look around, who are the mut'ims of our times? Who are those that are standing up for civil liberties? Who are those that are standing up for freedom? Who are those that are telling the masses out there, don't be scared of these people, they're not terrorists, they're not evil. Where are our mut'ims? And when we find them, we form allegiance, we form relationships, we praise them, they praise us, but we have the line, we don't praise the religion. Many of these are whatever, they might be atheists, they might be, they might be anything. Not a problem brothers and sisters, not a problem. Here is Mut'im, and Mut'im is an idol worshipper, right? In our times brothers and sisters, I'm going to shock you by saying this, but Wallahi, some, sometimes some of these groups that want to support our rights, they have a lot of evil that we don't like. For example, many times it's the homosexuals, many times it's the gay movement. Because they have been persecuted, right, by the other people, they are the ones who are very vocal about types of discrimination. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of times they're supporting the same civil rights that we're supporting, right? And a lot of Muslims balk and draw the line, no, no, how can we get their help? How can we do this and that? If you can get the help of an idol worshipper, then there is no sin that is worse than idol worshipping. No matter what the other, other sins are, you're not approving of their religion, you're not approving of their lifestyle, you're simply coming together on something that is agreed upon by both parties. And the fact of the matter is, their freedoms are our freedoms and our freedoms are their freedoms. This is the fact of the matter. The same freedom that gives others the right to be different from mainstream society, it is also the freedoms that allows us to be free in this country as well. It's a very difficult, touchy subject, but it needs to be said. Especially in the pressures that we're living in. We are a minority in this land. We are a minority. And unless we form relationships with as many Mutam ibn Adis as possible, right? This is called tying your camel. Tawakkul is in Allah, yes. But we need to have a vision and a plan. And in this story, it clearly shows us that if Allah Azza wa Jal expected His Prophet to get the help of other people, and then He gave him the help, how about us 